I'm Jackie. And I'm Lauren. And we're This Life By Us, and today we are making pizza. <laughs> but not just regular pizza, keto-friendly pizza. <laughs> so, as you guys know, a few of us have embarked on a keto lifestyle. Not 100% myself, <laughs> but I, am, I embrace it. So I embrace healthy things, especially when it's carb-free. And this is pretty much, for the most part, carb-free. Yeah, it's like, I think, max four carbs per slice, too, will get you pretty full. It's actually called Fathead Pizza Crust, and it comes from a movie. Um, we made it with basically mozzarella, um, cream cheese, and eggs. coconut flour, and eggs. That's the um, crust. And that's it. This is definitely a good alternative. I haven't tried it yet, so this will be my first time trying it out. I have tried things like cauliflower, um, uh, bread and I kind of do like those things so I trust I know Jackie's tried this before I trust that it's going to taste amazing so we're gonna make it together and let you know what we think and once you know how to make the, the actual crust part I've seen that you can use that same recipe to make other things like crackers yeah we are gonna go ahead and jump into the video yeah. Start this recipe by taking one and a half cups of mozzarella and pouring it into your bowl. You will then add two tablespoons of cream cheese. Place your cream cheese and mozzarella mixture in the microwave. Microwave the mixture on high for 30 seconds. Take it out and stir it well and then microwave for an additional 40 seconds. Once your mixture is out of the microwave, it should have this sort of very creamy consistency. Continue to stir it, making sure the cream cheese and mozzarella are fully mixed. Then go ahead and add your two eggs and half a cup of coconut flour. Once you add the coconut flour and egg to your cheese mixture, go ahead and start mixing that up. You want to mix it until it is all fully incorporated. It will start to form a very dough-like consistency and will start to stick to itself. If you find that the mixture is too tough or too hard to mix, you can go ahead and pop it in the microwave for a few more seconds. You just have to be careful that you don't unintentionally cook the yolks prematurely. As you can see, the yolk kind of already starts to cook just with the heat of the cheese, but you want to keep on working it and working it and you'll see it'll come together really nicely. Once your dough is all mixed up, you'll want to go ahead and season it to whatever your liking might be. We went ahead and added just a pinch of salt because the cheese is naturally salty and then some garlic powder for a nice little garlicky taste. You can also add other things like Parmesan, parsley, some Italian herbs, any sort of flavors that you think you might enjoy in your pizza crust. Once you've added your seasoning, go ahead and start mixing it once again to make sure your seasoning is fully incorporated and then you'll be ready to roll it out and pop it in the oven. I have this pizza baking stone that I use to bake my dough but I think you can bake this on any dish that you might have in your kitchen. I lined it with parchment paper. I find that works really well to prevent it from sticking and then I just place my dough in the middle and place another piece of parchment paper right on top of it. I don't have a rolling pin, so I kind of just work this with my hands. It does mold pretty easily, and so it's not too difficult to spread it out. I sort of just try to shape it as best I can into a circle. If you like a thicker crust around the edges, then you can shape that. I'm not too fond of crust, so as you'll see, I leave a fairly small 
lip around the edges and so you'll just keep pushing it till you have your desired thickness and size and then you can pull the top piece of parchment paper off of the crust. When you're ready to pop it in the oven, you'll want to go ahead and take a fork and just poke some holes all the way around. And this is just so that it can breathe and won't bubble up in the oven. Make sure your oven is preheated to 425 and then pop the crust in for about six minutes and check it. You'll want it to be a nice golden color when you take it out. While your crust is cooking, you can go ahead and prepare your toppings for your pizza. And this is obviously very individual to what you might like. We went ahead and went with bell peppers and red onions, so we're gonna go ahead and cut those up. Once your crust is nice and golden brown, go ahead and pull it out of the oven, and then you can start putting your pizza together. So we, for our sauce, used an Aryabata sauce from Trader Joe's, but you can pretty much use any marinara or tomato sauce, whatever your preference might be, and just go ahead and spread it out over your crust. Then go ahead and start adding your mozzarella cheese. We wanted some pepperoni on our pizza for our meat, so we went ahead and added some pepperoni. We went with the big pepperoni slices from the deli section. Then we threw our bell peppers and our onions on top of the pepperonis. We finished it off with some ricotta cheese and then a few sprinkles of mozzarella. You'll go ahead and throw it back in the oven for another 5 to 10 minutes depending on how warm and melted you like your cheese and how warm you like your topping. You'll pull it out of the oven and then you're ready to enjoy your delicious, low-carb, guilt-free pizza. The pizza should make about eight serving sizes, so you can go ahead and cut it up into eight slices and enjoy. So this is the final product, pizza, or is it? <laughs> I'm gonna add some sriracha. I'm gonna add parmesan. Actually, I'll try some sriracha. If you have not put sriracha on your pizza, try it. It's actually really good. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers to our pizzas. <laughs> wow. That is so good. Mm -hmm. That is really tasty. Guilt-free pizza, probably a reason why it tastes even better. There's no guilt. Honestly, the consistency of it, I don't even know if you guys can see, like, the consistency of this, like, even the way that it, like, breaks apart, it's like bread. It's so weird. It's like bread. It even tastes like bread. This is awesome. It was so easy to make. You could even do this with, like, your kids, like, Roll it out, it's super easy and tastes delicious and you don't have to miss out on pizza night on Fridays anymore with our <laughs> friends. Keto friendly. <laughs> Alright guys, well we're gonna go finish enjoying our meal. But thanks so much for watching our video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Comment if you want to see some other cooking recipe videos. Like this video and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Bye guys.